This is Twit. Back in 2016, uh, everybody was upset uh, over Microsoft pushing us to Windows 10. So I created Never 10. Uh, you know, pithy little name. I liked it a lot. Three million people have downloaded it. Are you kidding? Holy Three million. Cow. Microsoft must yeah. hate you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're probably thinking, what's he going to do now? Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, and and really, they're they're upsetting people, right? By uh, now, what they're doing is, you know, like upgrading your Windows without your knowledge. People are complaining about it constantly. Yeah. And so, and you look at, at at Windows 11. Well, you can't put the menu bar, um, or the the task bar on the side of the screen. Um, you know, I've looked at it, Leo. I've got. A, I had to have a laptop running 11 in order to sure. get this th this late latest piece of uh, freeware done. I mean, it is it is be beautiful looking. I have to say. I mean, it's gorgeous. But I'm happy with Windows 10. And yes, somebody somewhere saying when pigs fly, Steve <laughs> is happy with Windows 10. But it's true. <laughs> anyway, so first. I've thought, okay, uh, it, it really isn't Never 11 because people are also not wanting their versions or their feature releases of 10 to change. So, so people who are on 10, want, basically people want to stay put. And so that was like, oh, I'll call it stay put. Um, so then as I started talking in in the news group with the 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 gang who helped me over the past week to get this thing all all polished and honed and uh, and working just the way we wanted someone said well that's good but you know it won't really work for me because I do want to move Windows 10 from 21 h1 to 21 h2 so I'd like to do that well as I looked deeper into Microsoft support for group policies I realized that the way they had implemented the controls targeted at, enter at enterprise users but available to everyone was literally with a targeted release version um, in the registry. So that allows a user of Windows to target Windows Update to a specific major version like 10 or 11 or 12 and then the, the individual feature release within that major version, which, of course, is now what Microsoft is doing. And if you target at the one you're on now, well, then you get the advantage, you get the equivalent of staying put. It, it will not go. And, in fact, during my testing, I, um, I had a machine. How did I run across this? I can't remember now. I had a machine with, like, 15 four or something like from the dawn of windows 10 and i i put in control on it and boy was windows update unhappy i mean it was like squirming around because it had gone out of support a long time ago but it would not update it and so so this this lock is powerful but the advantage is it doesn't shut down windows update all your security updates your 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 monthly you know standard roll forward continue but but it will keep you at where you are at at, at the major version and the feature release e either where you are if you just leave it set to its default or if you wanted to say yeah i'm ready to go to windows 11 you you literally you can click the button to release control there there's two fields in the lower left for version and release you could change the 10 to 11 and then uh and hit take control and it would lock it telling it wants windows update to take you to windows 11 as soon as it will so anyway it went it went from stay put to under control to take control to in control which is where we are. And as I said before, 82K of assembly language, just one of my little cute, you know, you don't have to set it up or install it or anything. You just run it. Um, uh, and the only thing I have left to finish is the documentation. I, I have the, as I did for Never 10, I want to fully document the six registry keys. There are, there are six registry keys that it manages. Uh, and, you know, that's all it is. It's, it's simple. 
But it's, you know, there are, as I said last week, there are sites that are telling people to disable Windows Update completely. No, no, yeah. I, no. I know. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, bad, bad, uh, bad, bad, uh, bad. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. so so this gives people some control that they wouldn't otherwise have in a, you know, in a very friendly user interface. So. Good.